In this episode, we're talking about the number one tip I have for engineering students as you start your spring semester in 2018, and we're starting right now. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you are watching the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. If you wanna be a successful engineer, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. During the live stream on Saturday, thank you again if you were there for 5,000 subscriber celebration live stream. I got this awesome question that was, what is your number one tip for starting out in 2018 as an engineering student, regardless if you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, whatever. And this is the tip, guys. Number one, build relationships with your professors this year. Pick one or two, even just one, particularly the one down the avenue that you believe is your destiny, your niche, and start building a better relationship with them. Professors are so powerful. They can connect you to so many opportunities in your life later on after college. They can write you letters of recommendation. You can do research with them. They might be an advisor for an engineering club. They can help get you into grad school. They can be a reference on your resume. They can connect you to the professional industry. There are so many things that these professors can help you with in your career. And if you invest in that relationship on the front end, you're gonna be in the driver's seat in order to capture these opportunities. And it starts by the little tactics. This video is gonna give you five tips of ways that you can stand out, ways that you can develop a better relationship with your professors in 2018. And number one is stay after class for five minutes. Have a conversation with the one, two other students who actually stay after class and chat with that professor about what you thought about the homework. Maybe have a question or two ready so that you can show that you really are putting in the time to become an A student. And you care about this class. You wanna do well, you wanna succeed, you wanna be a 1% engineer. And if you do this once a week, even if you can only afford the time to do it, say once every two weeks, again, you're gonna stand out to the professor. And then when your relationship evolves later, this professor is gonna really know that you care about your career, you wanna be successful. So it starts by the little tiny things like staying after class. Tip number two is you should drop by and go to office hours, particularly if that is exam week, maybe next week, or if you have a project that is due next week, or it really is a tough time in your semester and you wanna just make sure that you're doing the right stuff for homework. You wanna make sure that you're on the right path with your understanding in the class. So going to office hours is another level up from staying after class and chatting with your professors. Again, there's these baked in advantages, these baked in messages that you're gonna show your professor that you care, that you wanna succeed, that you are investing in their relationship. And later on, when you have some sort of ask for the professor, they're not even gonna think about it. They won't hesitate. They're like, yep, I'll write you a letter of recommendation or yep, I'll connect you to someone in the industry. But unless you put in this time and do things like stay after class and go to office hours, they're not gonna help you out later. So make sure you go to office hours. Tip number three is for you to actually participate in class during lecture. Raise your hand, add value to that lecture, ask questions, respond to what that professor is teaching. And do your part to not only stand out to the students around you so that when it comes down to projects, they know that you're a go-getter, but again, you're adding as much value to that lecture as you possibly can. So make sure you're participating, and then it makes it so much easier when you do stay after class, when you do go to office hours, because that professor just knows that you're ambitious, you wanna be successful, so put that hand up, don't be shy, sit in the middle, sit in the front ish, don't sit in the back so you can just hide. Make sure that that professor has you on their radar. Tip number four is to get involved with student clubs or groups that this professor is a part of as well. It's pretty easy to find out. Go to their university bio page, look at their LinkedIn. You will see if they are the liaison or some sort of role, like a mentor professor role on a engineering club or engineering society group and join that club, join that group. Because again, you're getting closer to the hive, you're getting closer to that inner circle of what they care about, and you're adding value to their world. Notice the trend here, guys. You see, it's all about what you can give. Give on the front end and add value, support their organization, be a part of whatever they believe in, whatever they're working on outside of lecture, and you're investing in this relationship. So join that club, join that society that they're a part of, and it further creates the ability to garner a great relationship with this professor. Tip number five is to volunteer to help them with their research. All these professors professors at universities are doing some sort of research, they're working on projects, they have grad students with funding, and they're just cranking on cutting edge research. And if you go to them and say, hey, I really wanna help you out with your research, I wanna volunteer, I wanna get some more experience. This is particularly awesome for freshmen and sophomores, which may be a little bit more challenged to get real internships, especially paid internships after your freshman year. But if you go to this professor and you say, hey, I wanna to offer to help out, I wanna volunteer, I'm really looking to get more involved with this, I'm so passionate about it, and I just wanna help you out, I wanna 
want to learn. I want to be a part of this. They're not going to say no. They won't say no unless they just have so many people who are already supporting their research, but that's not how it works. You usually have so many things that you want to work on, data to be crunched, experiments to run, field stuff to be collected. They're going to find a way for you to help out. So this is so good because it puts more experience on your resume. It builds a better relationship with this professor. It shows that you're ambitious and it is really just locking in that relationship for the future. So those are my top five tips for how you can develop a better relationship with a professor or two this semester. I hope you do that. Comment below for the two of you who are actually going to go out and do this, what your plan is, which professor, which type of engineering they're in, because you want to be that type of engineer. So let me know what is your dream role? What is the type of stuff you're going to be doing? What is the type of effort you're going to be putting in on the front end with your professors this year? If you have a question or comment or anything else, make sure to leave it below. If you think this video helped you guys and you want to be a successful engineer, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Share these videos with your friends, guys, if they're helping you out. Make sure you find the link for the Facebook group in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show, guys, and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% engineer. Cheers!